Hello and welcome to the Wedding Filmmaker Spotlight Series. My name is Victor Fox. I'm a wedding filmmaker out of Vancouver, BC. And in this series, I go through the best wedding filmmakers in the industry and I try to find what makes their films so unique, so special and so great so that we can take from their films those little things that make those films so great and put them in our own films and make our films better. Okay, so this time we're looking at Super Weddings, which is uh, a, a wedding uh, filmmaking outfit out of, let's see where they're from, they're out of, oh damn, they're from Norway. Okay, so we escaped the big city to a small village in Norway. So they're out of Norway, and this film we're going to look at is super cool. Um, it's a boho wedding. Um, it says Sarah and Giulio, boho chic Italian wedding. And what I love about this film is like, we're going to go through, I'm going to show you in a minute. Um, let me just show you first. Let's go through a little bit. I'll show you a little snippet and then we'll go through and I'll tell you what I like about it. It does not matter how you feel, for this kind of love has a bond of steel. What, what I like about this film is like it's a really cool mix of um, like what I consider like punk style wedding films like uh, the Costa Sisters. It's like that, but then it's also very like avant-garde and like cool and like slow paced and artistic like Maru films. It's kind of like this beautiful blend. It's like is it or maybe like Ricardo Fasoli, you know, like creative weddings. It's kind of like if if the Costa Sisters and Maru films and creative wedding all got together and created a wedding film. This is kind of what it would be like. So, um, you know, the way it goes is like, there's a lot of like handheld stuff. There's a lot of, you know, like upbeat stuff, but then there's also a lot of static stuff, a lot of like slow motion stuff. And then in the edit, they're, they're cutting between really fast paced, frenetic kind of punk style stuff. And then that really slow paced, really artistic stuff. And with the sound design, they're really creating like some really cool, cool moments. So it's like a collage of punk retro imagery. And I think um, to do this kind of thing, um, you have to really like be understanding of the different styles of wedding filmmaking and then like try to find a way to combine them. So like find what you like. I mean, if you wanna make something exactly like this, it's gonna be hard to pull off because you know, they're kind of doing their own thing. They've got their own style. But I like the idea of combining styles. I think this is something that we could all do, you know, take, take things from the different styles that we like and then bring them together. Um, it really does work, I think, really well. And I think it's mostly because of the sound design. You know, they're, they're, they're going from like that, that like punk or heavy rock music kind of soundtrack or that funky soundtrack. And they're going into this like neon, 80s synth kind of sound and then that is like really uh, complemented with the slower visuals and the more static shots and the more artistic shots so really really cool stuff from super weddings also amazing name who doesn't love the name super weddings so um let's take a look at a few more shots here see if i can just skip through see like this is a cool shot this is like you know I guess, I guess um, you, you need to be able to get lots of creative shots. So I think a lot of handheld stuff is probably the way to go for this kind of thing. Maybe just shoot everything in slow motion, do a lot of handheld, a lot of like monopod kind of things. That way, you know, you can always slow it down or speed it up depending on the, the, the part of the film you want to use it in. Do you want to use it in the part that's frenetic or do you want to use it in the part that's um, subdued? Um, this is a really beautiful shot. Lots of like, um, this is like in a mirror, into a mirror, it's like double mirror shot. Very cool, very artistic, uh, very nice. And then there's lots of, um, what, do you, what do you call that? It's like cross dissolving um, with the dancing. I really like that effect when you have 
dancing footage and you, you cross dissolve the dancing footage. I think that's really nice, especially with the colored lights. Um, lovely shots like this where the light is coming through the dappled light on the, on the groom's face. Love that stuff. Really interesting portraits. I really like this idea for, um, for coverage, like get some really interesting portraits of the groom. Um, and the and the bride as well. I think that's a neat idea. I love these umbrellas. These are fantastic. A portrait of the two of them. I think this is neat. I think you can do this, you know, during the portrait session. The photographer's already getting this shot. Get a, you know, just get a little bit of movement. Get the bride to kiss the groom on the cheek. Bang! You've got a really, really cool, really like stoic kind of shot. I think it really works. Going down the aisle, dancing stuff. Yeah, really, really neat. I definitely recommend you check out Super Weddings to, to see how they blend these styles. They, this whole section here is really interesting too when the, um, the, the, the groom and, and his uh, groomsmen are getting ready. It's like really like, it feels like a television documentary or something. It goes from like this punk style to this like television documentary style to this like totally avant-garde and artistic thing. It's like really, really cool how they blend all these different popular styles of wedding film. Um, so go and check out uh, Super Weddings. They make really, really great stuff. Uh, highly recommend them. Um, if you're in Italy, definitely hire them. Um, if you have any other recommendations for wedding films or wedding filmmakers I should uh, review and critique, on this channel, please leave them down in the comments section below. It would be my pleasure. I'm always looking for new wedding filmmakers to, uh, to, to look at and learn from. So please leave them down in the comments section below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel for more content like this in the future. All right, I'll see you all in the next video.